Hello, hello. My name is Tokyo Blue, and you've come to Game Station Tokyo. Today, we're going to be doing the stumble through of the Evil Within. Uh, we've made it to episode number 32. Uh, so far, as f for what I can tell, it seems as though the clues are pointing toward Sebastian having some sort of mental breakdown. Uh, with the passing of Lily, I guess, in some sort of tragic fire. We still got to find out what happened to uh, Myra. Um, but, you know, Joseph seemed to have hinted that uh, he started taking to the bottle, uh, became an alcoholic, to in order to deal with uh, some of his traumatic past. But uh, let's find out. So we'll get this game started and uh, we'll pick up some more clues, hopefully. Okay, so let's try getting upstairs done. Uh, wait, I was really, I wonder if upstairs will be the same way as down here where Ruvik just starts coming out after a certain time to the threshold. That looks like a safe red liquid. Oh, if that's the case, then I got three more, two more places to go to. Let's try this. Nothing. Can I go in here? Uh, let's go upstairs first. Those doors look really ominous. Uh, here we go. See, I'm kind of rushing now because I'm afraid Ruvik's going to come. Uh, I don't know. Two doors, three doors, and a double. Double. Get down. Oh, there's that painting. Some brain juice. What's that? Magic key? Yeah. <laughs> That's why Rufik got upset. I'm breaking all his valuable vases or vases. What is that? The doorknob? Lower safe dial. This old safe dial is marked with the numbers 0 through 9. Hmm. What's going on? Okay. So she's holding handkerchiefs on guys cutting his head off. Juice. Having a look around. What's that? Wonder if Ruvik lived here alone. That's probably him. So there's his sister, mom, and dad. Anything over here? No. This is a weird statue. He's coming faster. He's back in. Just go away. Leave me alone. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Jill, I found another apartment key. <laughs> we could get together. Uh, okay, let's move along. What's that on the ground? What is that? Like it. Looks like a big coin. Add it to my coin collection. Alright, 
so no, oh, we'll go this way, left. Whoops, locked. It's coming up. Sounded like someone was coming up behind me. Another one of those hoses. Always going into the room with the hoses. I'm gonna get hosed. Something squishy going around. Someone's eating. Is that the only guy eating? Can I kill him? Without Ruvik coming? Where is he? Where are you? I know you're there. Where's the door? Horrible. Oh, there we go. Mother. Yikes! This is filled with them. Strike on. Out of ammo. You down? Matches? Nothing? You down. What do I have? Hold on. Didn't mean to dead space stomp you, but uh, I'm actually looking to reload. There we go, shells, fantastic. Only two. Let's see if I can make some of this. Come on, before Ruvik gets here again. Thank you. One. All right. Let's make something cool. Cinery. Yes. Mm, okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Can I go up there? It's a red ladder, like in the barn. Lots of place to run if Ruvik comes, but I'd just rather not do it. Ooh! Another dial, I take it? Or a doorknob? This old safe dial is marked with the numbers 0 through 24. What am I looking at? This picture. Can I see it? Oh, the other half of the picture. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hooded men. This is the other half of the picture. Alright. Take this instead. Let's go back down. Uh, typewriter, typewriter. Uh, nothing glowing. Nothing glowing. Oh, the bottle. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Was I in there? Alright. Grab a bottle. There was a hatchet back there. I, I didn't take. Oh, one of those bolts. Uh, let's see. I should take a shot or something. Hit him with a flashball. See what happens. Come on. I'm a little bit uh, on edge. I don't want Ruvik coming in. Too. I'll take it. One hit kill is always helpful. Another door. I suppose I should check it, huh? Easy. Down. Duck. Duck. Come on. 
Ruvik's room, though. Ah. <clears throat> I saw her there again, standing at the end of the hallway. Long black hair, beautiful as ever, streaked through uh, with moonlight. Her eyes, dark pools in her porcelain face. She wore her favorite red dress like a crimson sunset. Like a streak of blood in the waning light. Laura, of course you couldn't be dead. Is this a kid writing this? Laura. All right. Browns. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Woo, woo. Go through here. Through there. Just run. Come back in later. Move. Where is he? Go upstairs. Up. Just climb. Where is he? Oh, good. <laughs> I hate running like this. I know it's bad. But there's no way to kill a guy. All right, let's get back into the other room. He got pissed off because I found his bedroom. I'm gonna find a whole bunch of nudie magazines too. Found my magazines. Uh. All right. Anything in here? Oh yeah. All right. All right. I gotta get 50,000 in order to, I can hide under it. I wonder if I can hide from Ruvik. I don't want to try it though. Guy has a way of finding you. Who's this? Parents' room? You can hide in there. Yeah. Ooh. A box. Oh, I'll take it. Special med kit. I heard something dumb. Yeah, I hear some voices growling. You hear it? Come so on. Die! Oh, jelly jam! I got no matches on me, huh? Is that matches? Oh, speak of the devil. Just ask and you shall receive. All right, here we go. Duck, get down! Though I have to admit, crouching around like this could really cause some severe back pain. No wonder why you turned to alcohol. Someone behind me. I don't know where I'm going. All these bottles of wine around. There's no wonder why the butler went a little whoops, slack on his duties. Uh, get up, get up. Well, am I supposed to shoot something? Darn it! Oh, I hit it! <laughs> Fantastic! Oh, you know, I really gotta thank Dead Space for that one. Holy smokes! Okay, so again, all these bottles of wine, there's no wonder why the butler went slack on his responsibilities. Did I come from that way? Let me see. No, I didn't. It's a new hallway. It goes who knows where. Is somebody's feet down there? Yeah. Down, get down, duck. Ooh, secret passage into the bat cave. One over there. Uh, oh, hey, hello. Oh, 
Jill's really gonna like this. Alright. Uh, caught in there. Did I get anything out of these? No, I, I saw something over here. Nothing. Ah! Hide over there. Nothing. Not this one. It's lit. Nothing! Oh man, that's teasing me. Now, yeah, let's see. If I crouch down through here, there's like so many places to explore. Am I gonna remember it all? Somebody else's room. Again. Alright, quick. Before Ruva comes. Uh, where's that? There's a little hole in the brain on the last Subject one. Subject number 12. Test 71B. Electrode placement E2. You're right here. Stimulation of amygdala, seat of emotion, and memory allocation. The fear center of the brain. <laughs> Oh, that didn't work. Is that ruin my health? Subject feels as I do. Oh, it did. It took away from my health. God darn it. Psychological weight I myself bear daily. I don't believe this is so unfair. Oh, the guy's blinking. What the hey? More brain juice, red. Checkpoint, thank you. So, oh yeah. Is someone in the room? Oh. Alright. Uh, man, oh man. Yeah, it's been a while. Alright, let's get through. Wait, did I forget anything though? Well, okay. Man, if Ruva comes in here, I'm definitely a goner. Uh, anything else? Can I check? Ouch! I broke my hand on some glass! Uh, I guess we're good. Alright, here we go. Come on, duck. In you go. Look at this, there's a fire burning in here. There's all the smoke on. Oh, Father, if you only knew how satisfying that look on your face is, you did him. you actually think? He killed his mom, too. If you me away, I would just cease to exist. Out of sight, out of mind. You did. You did. Your you? face. Oh, you were never out of my mind. Bad case of acne? I hope you're proud of yourselves. <sighs> they locked him up because he had a bad case of acne. Check that. Okay. Something light up. All right, come on, move along, move along. Let's go. Let's check out who's lying out there in the hallway. Scoot down. Scoot down. Down. Thank you. Wait, I, 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 I do. All right. door over there. Is she worth burning? <gasps> She's got a, a bottle of brain juice. You have to rip it from her dead hands. Sorry. Should I burn her? I don't think I should. I have to anyway. Down, get down, down. Uh, thank you. I don't hear any growling, so I guess it's gonna be one of those threshold points I cross, and someone comes out of the tape recorder. A lot of dividers. 
I'll wait on that recording. Oh, I'm gonna burn you. Burn! Circle, burn them. Thank you. That's what you get for snoozing. Black flies. in there. Is there anything in there? Can I get anything? No. Is there a crack? I can't even look through a crack in the door. It's completely pitch black. Oh, hey. You try to trick me, huh? Alright. Let's do this. Yikes! Oh, darn you. Where are you? Run up to him. Burn him. Give me that hatchet. Bastard came out and surprised me. What do I got? Where's that hatchet now? There it is. Ooh, cleaver too. Alright, let's get this. Consume another. Ooh, I don't have a syringe. How much health would that give me? Will it overdo? I guess I'll take it. <sighs> right in the heart. Oh, yeah. My lips are getting numb too. I can feel it in my gums. It tastes good. Nothing like an espresso shot. First, before we do anything, duck. It's a hallway. Oh, I know where I am. Oh no, go back. Go back in. So I got this recording to take care of. Maximum frequency stimulation of cortical regions has proven less than effective. The subjects scream and scream, but they die much too quickly. Tailored settings achieve better results. The only question that remains is which regions to focus on. Fear, hope, consent, trust, envy. Three of these are pivotal, but which will open the way? Hmm. That's Ruvik's voice as he got older, I suppose. I don't know why he's leaving recordings around. Let's have another look-see. Is there a room I forgot? Well, this should be cleared, right? Shouldn't I have any worries? Lights out! Uh, dead person? Nothing here. Funny looking person on a painting. Waste of money, what is that? A grenade, I missed. Missed that completely, holy smokes. Thank you. Uh, Surprise, Ruvik hasn't come. I need some more syringes though. Ooh. Uh, I think I missed something. in here. Oh, thank you! It's worth coming back. Nothing in there. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Can I just hit open again? from in there, didn't I? It's over here. Or did I come from this way? It's like I came from this way. Woo! Alright, here's a chance to redeem myself. I didn't come this way. Thank you! Alright. Four. And down here. I'm full of those. I'm full of it. Give me a harpoon. I'll take another harpoon. Alright. Look at these. Deadly arsenal. Uh, get my hatchet. What's in here? Duck, 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 duck. I think I was in here. Am I in here? Yeah, that's his room. How come I didn't run into that bomb? Uh, where am I? Getting confused. This is his room. There's a hallway. Is that why? I went through the rooms. That's why I didn't hit that bomb. And okay, that's... you have anything on you? Nothing? Anything over here? I know, there's a lot of searching going on. You guys don't like that. Uh, so here's the bomb. other room over here. Did I go in here? I did. Woo! Green dirty juice. It's over here. Can I close that door? I can't. What's that? Come on in. I want some privacy. Hey, here we go, map fragment. Okay, 16. Anything in there? That's a big bathtub. Uh, anywhere else? See, that was the room. It's parents' room. All right. I saw this picture back at the barn. Why these doors can use a little oil now? I forget. Did I? What's that noise? That's that thing downstairs. Did I come in through here? Yes, I did. Alright. I just worked my way around. Alright. And then there's this double door. Alright, I guess I'm gonna call it here. We're around 30 minutes. Let's take a look at the door. Just one more to go. Who's that noise coming from? Yeeks! 
All right. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. Oh, wait. Something to look at here. What are we looking at? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano, beloved son of wealthy Victoriano family, has not been seen since a fire at the family estate. Did I know Reuben somehow? Did my daughter die here too with him? I don't know. Family estate. More of why? Why have more information about a fire? Oh, anyhow. Uh, that picture's still up there? It is. There's... No, I don't know. That's That's him. Yeah, I guess that's his mom and dad. I don't know who his sister is. Maybe his si sister Jill? Or the spider lady? One of the two. Yeah, I noticed the newspaper article over here. Bodies found near estate. Bodies found near countryside estate. Identifi identification could, could take weeks. Wow. Four mutilated bodies found just outside of Victoriano estate. The bodies appear to have had various crude surgeries performed on them. Hmm. All right. Uh, two keys. I will save it for next time. I'll do it now. Go get my brain juice and stuff like that. And save it. You guys don't need to watch. All right. I'll catch you guys later. And there's the end of this stumble through. Um, so I, I guess in this episode we're finding out a little bit more information about Ruben or Ruvik. Um, not sure if he changed his name or maybe he felt he uh, needed a new identity after killing his parents. Um, but you know, I'm also wondering. You know, we uh, started this adventure back in, near chapter two in trying to get closer to this lighthouse, which. I don't even know if we're getting closer or further away from it. Um, so please come back and join me and Sebastian in episode 33 of The Evil Within. And uh, thank you guys for your support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, my name is Tokyo Blue, and you've come to Game Station Tokyo. Sayonara.